Overheard. On Tony Katz Today. Hey, dig this. The president is having a little get-together at the White House, and the Philadelphia Eagles aren't invited. It's a long story. They were invited before they were uninvited, but then there were a few players who didn't want to come, and then people got mad, and then Trump got mad, and then the Eagles owner, Jeffrey Lurie, said, well, I'm not bringing my famous potato salad, and Trump said, well, I don't even like potato salad, because I had a bad experience with some potato salad that was left out in the sun too long when I was a kid, and I wound up kneeling over a 24-carat bowl for a week, and that got him on the topic of kneeling during the National Anthem anthem and then half the team said well we're not coming if there's no potato salad and trump said well none of you are coming ivanka will make a big batch of coleslaw i'll be manning the george foreman grill and you can stay home while stormy daniels tosses a salad and the eagles said fine and you know what else we're gonna keep kneeling whenever and wherever we like and trump said oh you like to kneel all right kneel before Zod. and then the white house released the following statement the statement says the eagles quote disagree with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem hand on heart in honor of the great men and women of our military and the people of our country. Why can't we just do a compromise? Everybody stand with their hand over their heart and we'll play James Brown living in America instead. It'll work, trust me. Nobody can stay off their feet when James Brown music is playing. Go ahead, try it at home. And here's the best part. At the end of the song, everybody can get down on one knee just like James Brown used to do in a little tribute to the King of Soul. Another complex problem with a simple solution. You're welcome, America. Hey, speaking of things that ain't broken don't need to be fixed, the Miss America pageant is now set to become the but she has a really great personality pageant. Now the Miss America organization says it is dedicated to shifting the focus from the contestants' bodies to their brain. Bully. Women's roles in the U.S. have changed dramatically since the 1960s. Uh, What changes would you like to see next? I don't know, jeez. Ms. Minnesota, do you think that your career prospects would be affected if affirmative action were dismantled? I think that... Some people out there in our nation don't have maps, and uh, I believe that our ed- education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and... I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. or or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our Should unwed teenage mothers be allowed to collect welfare? Why or why not? I don't believe that unwed teenage mothers should be allowed to collect welfare. Um, We have such a big problem in today's society that... Um, Okay, how about this? Name any country other than America. I'm excited about the changes. I really am. You know, progressive values, inclusiveness, equality of outcome. Bring it on. You say swimsuit competition. Feh. I say spelling bee, best duck face, hell, cat juggling. And now that all body types are welcome, we may finally see a day in our lifetime when Miss America can collect her crown on a mobility scooter. Golly, what a day that'll be, huh? I'm Brian Baker, and that's overheard on Tony Cats Today.